hey, welcome to this. So, I'm all out of ideas. So, I was looking through the place where I normally get my ideas, and then it hit me. What if I install a VM inside of a VM, inside of a VM, inside of a VM, inside of a VM, inside of a VM. So yeah, that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. Let's open up the VMware workstation and get right to it. So I want to use it for personal use. Finish. And here we go. We have VMware workstation Pro 17. So I'm just going to do, because I hate tabs in VMware, I'm just going to get them disabled. And then let's make a new virtual machine. Now this, it's going to be on a removable, yeah, so I want to install Windows 7 Ultimate and you probably can't see that, I need to zoom in. Okay that's good, um, product key, no, yes, oh Windows 7, sure, um, how much space do we have, we have 80 gigs space free on this um, thing here so I'm gonna give it yeah 60 gigs um, okay here we go we have our um, virtual machine so we're gonna hit finish we are creating the disk and this is going to be a dynamically expanding disk so it won't just eat up at my storage Kind of good actually. Let's see what other um space saving measures can I take. All oh, right, we're in the setup, and it says down at the bottom easy installers installing. So I'm just gonna let it do its thing. VMware tools is just downloading down here. Yes, I think it just needed to put VMware tools in the VMware tools location. And we're doing a disk cleanup as well. I'll put that up in the top corner of the, of the screen. There we go. So I'll just let it do its thing. Okay, here we go. We have Windows 7 up and running. Here we go, Windows 7 Ultimate. So we just have one VM. Now let's add another one. So I need VMware Workstation 12, and I think I have it. Okay, now it's on. If we go into the desktop, here we have a key gen, and here we have the VMware Workstation, because I am not bothered to buy a license key. I don't even think they sell them. And I think I just clicked no. There we go. So VMware Workstation Pro 12. I know you can get up to VMware Workstation Pro 15, but I'm not really bothered to do 15. I have 15, but, and I could install 15, but whatever. I've had the best luck with 12 on Windows 7. So yeah, let's just wait for this to do its thing. There we go, we're installing VMware workstation pro 12 and in the meantime i got a license key okay we're done we're gonna type in my totally legit license key and finish you must restart your system okay okay so let's load up vmware I said let's load up VMware. Um, let's go Pro because, yeah, Pro. And here we go. Um, VMware tools to make this a little bit bigger, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna need to get um, a Windows XP disk. And finish. Running VMware Workstation in a virtual machine will result in degraded. Yes. Um, what? Sure, okay. 
Okay, so apparently my camera battery died. I charged it up to a reasonable amount, but I missed pretty much the last 90 minutes of the Windows XP setup. Yes, it took this long to get here. It says there's five more minutes left, so I'll take its word for it. But yeah, VM and a VM, it is really slow, especially on this hardware. I am not sure how a VM and a VM and a VM will turn out, but whatever. Let's just start a time lapse. Okay, one 45 minute time lapse later, we're here at the desktop. It's really slow, but that's what you gotta expect when you're doing something like this. Now there's one thing that we need to do, or actually two things. Where is it? Tour Windows XP. We need to run the Windows XP tour. And we also need to do pinball because this is Windows XP. Tour Windows XP. Okay, we're gonna play the animated tour. Yeah, that time lapse was not really good for the phone's battery. Speaking of, oh gosh. Experience the best. Experience Windows XP. Best for business. Windows XP Professional shines as a business operating system. Get more work done faster, easier, anytime, anywhere. To begin the tour, click any selection. Um, let's go Windows XP Basics. Friendly new screens, simplified menus, and a whole lot more. Discover Windows XP's fresh, streamlined design. Get acquainted with key tasks and basic commands. Taskbar. Every time you open a window, a button representing it appears on the taskbar, and it disappears when you close a window. The taskbar also contains the start button and notification area, where you'll see the clock. Okay, that's it. So yeah, this is, oh gosh, we have three, we have three operating systems. One, two, three. A set to a really low level. Yeah, no, this is not a really low level. This is an ultra wide level. But yeah, I'm going to get VMware Workstation 9 on the, on the host. Be right back. Okay, we are copying over the files to the Windows 7 virtual machine, which will then copy the files to the Windows XP virtual machine. There we go. Okay, so we have VMware Workstation 9 all set up. And this is archive.org user, which makes really nice, um, which makes really nice pre-built VDMK images for early versions of Windows, up to Windows XP he does. I don't know why I just didn't use that, but whatever. I'm going to do the second torrent of the episode and get this. Uh, yes. Alright, 29 minutes, 25 minutes, 23 minutes. So this will take around 20 minutes. So I'll start a time lapse in the meantime. Okay, it's done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wake up the arrows gone. Aero is actually oh I arrow's back so I'm gonna make a new virtual machine if I can click the button 
What is this option? Create a virtual machine from, from an existing physical machine. Okay, it's done. So, I'm going to delete this Windows 98 disk, if it will even let me. I pressed shift delete. Oh yeah, confirm file, yes. And rename Windows 98 SE, rename to Windows 98. And now I, oh yeah, that's definitely true. Um, yes, do it. Now let's see how much this will, um, work oh gosh yeah let's keep let's keep this time lapsed Okay, that took forever, but we're finally in. So, um, yeah, opening the start menu, it's kind of smooth, actually. It is kind of, I think we could do with a bit of a speed up here, but to be honest, it's not actually that bad once you're in it. But when you open apps, it's actually that bad. So the first thing that I do with this is I set up a new user. Okay, um, 9 minutes 25 seconds to boot up. It probably would have been less if I was just here the whole time, but I had stuff to do, so, yeah. Well, this is the desktop. Let's put the task bar on the, on the top, because I like it on the top. And, um... What was I gonna do? I was gonna, I was gonna right click, get with the quick launch. Oh gosh. Well, once you're in, you can navigate. Um. Oh gosh, the sound. All right, let's see. How does the sound thing work? It's probably because we're running a VM inside of a VM inside of a VM. Okay, so it's been around a week since that last clip. And I think we might have to give up here because I couldn't find anything to go further than Windows 98. So I think this is where we're going to have to leave it. I'm, I'm done with I'm just done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you in my next upload.